Next, you'll watch a video on physical and chemical changes and how to tell them apart. Physical changes can easily be undone, do not change into a different substance, and can change states from a solid to a liquid, gas, or plasma. Let's take a look at some physical changes. Here's some pencils that we've brought in. Here's the world's largest pencil. I just thought that was neat. Next, we'll see a poor guy who's broken a pencil. Is this a chemical or physical change? It's still a pencil. He can probably sharpen it and still use it. Here's some solid water. It's ice, but if we leave it out, it'll melt into a liquid. The liquid is just another state of water, so it's just changing state, so it's physical. Let's add some heat. Now the liquid is changing into a gas. It's just a state change, so it's physical. This poor boy went and got a bad haircut. It didn't change his hair. He just cut it, so it's physical. Chemical changes, a change in color can occur, a change in odor, it might produce a gas or a precipitate, energy may be released or absorbed, it may form a new substance, and they cannot be easily reversed. If you can remember these simple signs, you can figure out whether it's chemical or a physical change. Here's, Here's some, some cake, cake batter, batter. Somebody somebody's added, added things, things together, together to, to bake. bake. Let's add some heat to it and see what happens. It turns into a cake, and we can't easily turn that back into batter. So a chemical change has happened here. Here are some firecrackers. Once we light these, is it physical or chemical? I see a lot of heat. It's chemical. Here's a raw egg. What happens when we introduce heat into the system? There's a definite color change. Cooking your eggs is a chemical change. These ladies went to a hair salon and changed the color of their hair. It's still hair, but there's been a color change, so it's definitely a chemical. Here's a log burning on the fire. Anytime there's burning taking place, you can be sure that it's a chemical change. Just look at the wood afterward. Ash cannot be turned back into wood, so it's chemical. Odor is another sure sign that a chemical change has occurred. Here's a precipitate forming out of two clear liquids. Next, sodium reacts with water violently. You can tell it's a chemical change because of the heat produced. Here's some gas, precipitate, heat, and a color change. These are all examples of chemical changes. Look for those telltale signs when trying to figure out if it's physical or chemical.